Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tunic, the adorable fox adventure. So, last time we left off, we got started with the game and got introduced to the instruction booklet here. Uh, according to someone, I missed one of the pages, so... This is the first page we got, I saw that one. We saw this one. Yeah, that's the controller one. And 13, ah, this one, this one, this is the one I missed, I believe. So it says... Oh! Uh, yeah, it's probably telling me how to read signs. I don't know what that one below it is. And this is just telling me about the dodge roll again, and if I hold it, I'll, like, go faster and run, potentially? And then that's target lock. And yeah, there's our iframes that I talked about. It was, like, the coolest thing ever. It's so neat that they actually show you iframes and have a visual indicator for it. So what does this hold... Oh, okay, so we do have a dash, like, like a run, basically. We roll and then hold down the button, and that's how we run. Okay, that's convenient. That is nice. Glad I know that. And it seems like we don't have to actually worry about stamina while doing this. As long as I'm holding down the A button, we running. Boom, boom. Okay. Bang, bang. Yeah, so we're much more mobile than I initially gave myself credit for. Look at me doing my little, my little anime run. They can't catch me. So, can I fall into this? I don't know what that means. Is it, is it like in Ocarina of Time where I have to fall from a... Nope. Oh, no, that's not Ocarina of Time. That's, you know, specifically the 2D games. You have to get up on like a higher ledge and fall, and then you'll fall into the well, and it's, you know, gives you access to things. Oh, man. Knowing about the dash is amazing, so thank you to the commenter that told me that I missed that page, because, uh, man, the dash is very good. Okay, so... Hero's Grave this way, so I think we explored most of the stuff over here, right? I was just struggling trying to figure out how to get one particular chest, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, I can break your poise, for lack of a better term, by just hitting you twice. So, you're down. Yeah, I need to get over there. How do I... Is it just this simple? No, the game won't let me fall from this height. Huh. Oh! Oh, I see! Okay, no, I missed this last time. Okay, now I see. There we go, we can go up here. Hello, I will ask you to die. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So you counter if I hit your shield specifically, it seems. There we are. So, do that. Nope, okay. Okay, you're scary. Uh, I'm gonna drink. Okay. Yeah, you're... pretty spooky, honestly. Nope. Okay, you're gonna be... You're gonna be hard to fight. Maybe I can just circumvent you instead. I did, like, no damage to you with that attack. Well, that's our first death. Huh. Yeah, that wasn't easy. So, where are we going? What are we doing here? It seems like I dropped some of my currency there as well. Does mommy have to bring me back? Okay. Yeah, mommy revived me at the mommy statue. Got it. Okay, so yeah, that enemy is not to be trifled with. Um... We gotta be very, very careful with that enemy. These little origami creatures are easy, and everything else has been, for the most part, so far. You just hit your own friend. That's rude, you know. Boom. Cool. So, let's dashy dashy. And go over here and give this another shot, I suppose? Okay, we, we have a blood stain. Um, you know, you have a place you go to, you, you loot your old corpse. And you can get your stuff back. Cool. You you guys are having a hard time getting over here. Give me that, please. Thank you. Wait, that damaged you? Oh, it did. It got rid of your shield, too. Ow, you hurt so much, though. Oh, man. Yeah, you're scary. Ow, I'm really bad at your timing. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid you, friend. You're, you're spooky. I don't like you. I don't like you. I just want the treasure. We might get something for actually defeating that foe. 
But, uh, for now, I'm just gonna circumvent it. If I was better at the dodging, it would be easier, but, um, I don't know the timings yet. Just two bombs. Maybe I could kill them with bombs. Dare I waste bombs on that? Probably not. I mean, I can try one, right? Um... I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die if I try to fight you again. Let's at least go back and heal, I think. Would probably be the smart thing to do here, so... Let's also refresh our uh, checkpoint right here. There we go. Alright, so... Yeah, whoop. Maybe we... Go up here. Uh-huh. Nope. Uh, die please. Okay, you actually got your shield up. You don't have a shield. Okay, I got rid of the big guy's shield somehow. You're annoying. I need a shield myself is what I need. Okay, so... Not there. Not there. Y button? What was the button to get into my menu again, where I equip things? Uh, LB. That's right, yeah. Uh, okay, wh why? I have a handful of these things. Why don't we, uh, here you go. Okay, yeah, that's pretty big damage. And you're burning. I'll wait for that damage to finish its, uh, doing its thing there. Wow, does it ever go away? Oh my god. Okay, no, bleed, uh, er, bleed. Um, fire damage OP. Okay. Well, I'd say that was a pretty good way of handling that encounter. I don't even know how I'm hitting you right now. Uh-huh. This is an interesting interaction that we're having. You gonna come down here, friend? Or you gonna make me come up to you? Okay. Dead. Alright, well that got me a lot of, uh, the currency and stuff. So we are working off, like, a, uh, go back to your dead body and grab your shit system. Which I, uh, am very, very acquainted with. Just want to make sure... We did get everything up here, right? I also feel like I'm going to need to use those bombs to blow up some secret walls at some point. What is this? You're suspicious. You got a little thing on the wall. Oh, I was checking to see if it does the thing that it does in the old Zelda games, where if you hit the wall, it makes a different sound. If it is a secret wall. Okay, well, we got a lot of uh, money for defeating that chump. So, is this all that was over here? I'm just kind of uh, refreshing myself on this area just to make sure I'm not missing something. Wait, why is this back down? Did I not pull this up before? Oh. Oh, I didn't do this before. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, what was in here? This is the first one, isn't it? Yeah, this is that first little dungeon area I walked into. The guardhouse, I believe it was referred to as. So let's get up here, why don't we? Just trying to make sure we get all that we can. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna quit that. I really need to grab a shield. That's what I really need. That would make this whole endeavor so much easier. Stabby stabby. Whoop. Okay, so I did finish this off completely. Yeah, this was a dead end that just led to right here. Okay. Sorry. So, down this way. And down here. Nope. Go down the ladder, please. Thank you. Do I call you Tunic? Is Tunic what I call you? I'm not really sure of your name. I'll just call you Tunic. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Ooh, there's something I missed. Oh man, that was cheekily hidden. You just saw like the corner of it and it distracted you with the the big lever that I also missed in this treasure chest. <laughs> okay. Well then. Uh, hello. Not sure how I missed that lever last time. Boom. Cool. And yeah, that was all this was. And... Now that we have this, yeah, we go up here. Wait, what is that down there? Hello. Hey, you. Anything? No? I don't know. That it, I saw the bushes, so it seemed like a place they would hide something, but I suppose not. Anything hiding down here? No. Okay. Out we go, then. 
Wee 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 wee. And I can't destroy you guys, right? I think I tried last time. No, okay, we can't actually destroy. I hit them once, but I didn't hit them multiple times. Unfortunately, they don't really drop anything, it seems. But it's still good to know. And yeah, now we're back over here. Alright, cool. So we've, uh, called up to where we were, grabbed some things that we missed, and we are good. Cool, cool. Stab. Uh, is going through here get me anything? Doesn't look like it. There were a lot of places outside here that I could do things with now that I have the sword, though. So the world kind of just opened up to us now. Um, yeah, we can get past there, but there's so much down here that I can do. So let's go down here first. Hey, dorks. Boom. I do want to know what I can spend this currency on. I don't imagine we have, like, a level-up system or anything like that. I imagine it's just, um, we can spend this on items somewhere. Maybe once we find our way to a town or something. Man, this game is so peaceful. I was just kind of taking a minute there to kind of appreciate it, because uh, I talk I talk a lot. I don't shut up often in these videos. But sometimes it's nice just to kind of sit and take it all in and everything. It's just such a pretty little game. Uh, okay, that leads somewhere. This might, that may have been something we did in the first episode, but I want to go all the way back down to the beginning and kind of work my way back through. Because look, see, there's already something we missed right there that I can now access. Because I have the sword. We see things in a totally different world now that we have a sword, so... There's a instruction booklet thing up there. Um, okay. Is there... We don't have a map yet. I was wondering if there would be a way to kind of leave markers on the map so I can remember where I've missed things. I might need to start a notes page for this game, to be honest. Alright, get me through here. What is this way? Okay, now we're proper at the back at the beginning. Yeah, and there's an instruction booklet down there. There's this thing. Yeah, I can see this being fast travel, those like little square things. I'm checking out Water 2 because the classic Zelda games, the 2D ones, did have flippers as an item that you could get. So I'm thinking maybe they'll have that in this as well. Wouldn't be the biggest surprise. Alright, boom. Yeah, and I remember there being something over there, so... Let's go this way. And then that was an entrance to something. Okay, what about this? How how do you get there? We might have to get up there first and then kind of fall down? Okay, this is an area I do remember. From the demo, specifically. How dare you hit me. And this gets me up here and across this bridge. Oh boy. Okay, we're, we've opened the world a bit now. That is a windmill. This is an entirely different zone. I think I want to go back to the previous area and explore a bit. But I will see what this windmill is all about. And check out this telescope as well. Well, this is neat that you get a telescope that kind of gives you a big overall view of the area. There's another one of those sword things we need to activate. Okay, what's the deal with you? Besides mill and wind. Uh... Okay, I don't like that. Oh, are you a shopkeeper? Oh, I think you're a shopkeeper. 300 whatchamadoohickeys? Do I have 300? LB. I do. This is a new potion, right? Another one? Oh, yes, please. Was this fireworks? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a firework. And that must be a consumable item. Hi. Can I talk to you? I'm not going to swing on you because I'm pretty sure you could crush me super easily. Maybe I should buy some more of these. I'll buy one more. I don't know what they're useful for yet, but um, why not? Okay, so windmills are shops. 
remember that. Okay, cool. Well, we found out what we do with our currency. So now it's time to go get more currency. So let's run this away. Okay, and up here... Had we ever been up here before? I just want to save really quickly. Did I ever go up that far? Yeah, okay, that, that was an area I've been to. So... Let's go down and see if we can get to the uh, beach that we saw down here. I... There's gotta be a good way to get over there. Maybe, yeah, that looks like something right there. So yeah, if we go over here, yeah, this is one of the other areas I was remembering. It's like a tuning fork? Oh, I bet that's a grapple point for like a grappling hook. Gotta be, right? You're suspicious, wall. And flowers. Like, the staircase leads to nothing. I'm doing it. Oh god, I missed. Okay, well that didn't work. Well, I wasted one of them. I expected it to plant it below me like it does in uh, the other uh, other games of this genre, but uh, it did not. We actually do throw it. But this game is clearly not just influenced by 2D Zelda. It clearly has quite a few different influences and is doing its own thing with some of the stuff, which I always love to see. What is that? I thought that was like a stone treasure chest or something for a second, but no, it's just a decoration on the wall. So, can we get down to that ocean that I saw? Yeah, you're down here, because there's an instruction booklet piece all the way down there, but I don't see a good way of... Yeah, that ladder over there appears to be how we get there. And this leads to... this area, which we've already been through. Okay. Yeah, and what happened if I... Nothing. Nothing happens if I try to open that door. Alright, I know I'm just kind of running around like a fox with its head cut off right now, but... Um, once we get a map, this will be a lot easier. So this is where I came out, right? Or does this lead somewhere else? Shit, there's so much to keep track of. Okay, no, this just leads over here. Okay, just a little shortcut for us. It's taking me a minute to get my bearings here. Alright, up here. Up here. What was over here? This was this location. Yeah, with you. I don't understand what you say, but you do exist. So was this the, uh... Yeah, this was not the place I was thinking of. It just has a little treasure chest down there. Alright, and up here, yeah, I specifically didn't cut, that's where we exited from. Alright, and I didn't cut down this, I specifically ignored this. So, let's go through here right now, why don't we? Ah, and this is how I get to those treasure chests over there. Uh-huh. No, you don't. Boom, boom. Cool. Alright, give me instruction booklet. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. It doesn't look like I can mark up the map, but this is still going to be incredibly useful for getting my bearings. So, yeah, that's handy. Okay, under the well. Yeah, so we can get under the well too. Okay, so I believe it shows where I am right there on the map, that is convenient. So, two east forest, mountain door, we have the waterfall right down there that leads to the forest. There's a few things kind of marked up on the map here, like... What does... what does that mean? Sound? Uh... and then this is like... Okay, that's the door that leads to that place. Yeah, okay, we saw that. Mm-hmm. Okay, not the... not the biggest game then, which I'm fine with. I like when games are short and sweet. I know, real rich coming from the guy that plays a bunch of, uh, JRPGs and RPGs. Uh, yeah, there's like a weird thing going on out there. Okay, let's look at this. Slorm, a type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Auto bolt. It wants to protect something, but what? Circle around it and use the shield. Tip. Shield. And under the well. 
we can see that's a dungeon and we have a boss that's going to be coming there. And this appears to be a dungeon as well, but it looks like I probably need something to jump to get over there. Rock feather? Uh-huh. Let's go over here and hit this lever then. So this is what I was supposed to do earlier. We. I love the like mechanism there. I don't know, it's just it's it's neat to look at. And this is a ladder. Cool. So we've made our way back over here. Yeah, so it does update with my position, which is very nice. It's not a map that's just like, no, it doesn't show you where it's at. You have to figure that out yourself. It does update with my position. So Hmm, what is that little what is this right here? This little doohickey. Um, let's check that out a little bit, why don't we? Because, so can I drop down, because here was where, doesn't seem like you can actually drop. There, I saw the treasure chests, yeah, yeah, they were over here. Right here. How do I get to you, though? Will the game not let me just fall down? It will not. So, do I need a, um, aha, yes. See, it has... A line coming from here that exits there. But where's that line go to? I is it that? I don't know. There's like an arrow pointing at a wall right there. Hmm. Yeah, it evidently comes from somewhere. It's like a dotted line, and you see more dotted lines over here, which leads me to believe it's somewhere down here, which would be that door. Huh. Okay, well, I think we're gonna be ignoring that for now. We've done that, we've done that. There's that weird thing going on down there. There's a lot of stuff down there at the ocean. All right, let's just uh, work towards the old house, why don't we? That seems like a pretty nice location to get to. Maybe it'll even have the shield that I so desperately desire. Cool. I love this game's map and atmosphere and what it's doing with the gameplay and everything. It is so refreshing. Indie games are great, man. Can we get a round of applause for indie games? Yeah. So this is the old house. I need a key, though. That is a problem. Uh, hi. I am your death. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. Dodge that. Nope, now you're on my hit list. Or shit list, whichever you prefer. Okay, there's another thingy over here. Ah, I see like a line going there. Okay. Nope. Die, please. There we are. Another one of these slimes. Okay. Oh my god, you shoot like a crazy arc of them? Okay, maybe we should heal. There's a little room down there. Hello. Your poise is easy to break, so you're not really that much of an issue. There's another grapple spot I'm choosing to believe they are. Okay. Is that this whole area clear? Let's check out where we are on the map. Yeah, okay, so we're right over here by the old house, like I thought. There's the well again. No, you don't. Okay, that's like a wall blocking something. Ah, here's this treasure chest. Oh yeah, I could have gotten over here this way. Ooh. Okay, I think that's like a health potion fragment. I think that's what that is. Yeah. So, is there any point in... Yeah, no, that's just that thing. Nothing really going on over there. Once I get a grappling hook, hook shot, what, whatever, what have you. We'll be able to do some more with that. But I did leave an instruction booklet back here. Yeah. Okay, so... Dodging and blocking uses your stamina when it's flashing. Um, I'm tired. Low stability and I get hurt more. Evade, moment of safety, damage taken. Wait. Okay, evade, moment of safety, vulnerable. If my, if my meter is down. My damage taken is 100%. If it's if I'm uh, down on my stamina bar, it's 150. I can block when I'm green. I can't when I'm red. My stability is normal. And I can do special tech as long as my meter's like that. 
And treasures and tools. Swords, keys, sticks, fruit, hot pepper slash ivy. Bomb. An ice bomb, specifically. Effigy. I don't know what that is. Lure. Bomb. Bomb. Golden coin. Uh, magic potion pieces. Don't know what that little thing is. The, like, thing that looks like a star? This. Oh, it's probably like an herbal remedy or something? That's kind of what it looks like. It looks like powder and, you know, like some, some paper. That looks like it increases my stamina meter. Magic items. Magic points. Okay, we have a staff. Holy cross. Okay, and what are these? Don't know what that is. Golden coin. Okay, it says it has something to do with golden coin. Uh, they say that if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize, so don't be afraid to use them. Interesting. Okay, so I don't have to feel bad about throwing that bomb I wasted earlier. Cool. So that's everything over here. Yeah, and that's that weird path that I saw. Is that how I... I think that might be how I get to the thing right there, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, and I still don't know what those are yet. But we will figure that out in due time. Now let's go down here and see what this is. How you doing, friend? Uh, one more hit? Okay, you're, you're the shotgun one. Okay. Ooh, you killed your buddy. That's rude, you know. There we go, you're dead now. That's what you get for killing your friend. Alright, in here. Uh, can I walk up over here? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and drink. A bunch of already looted treasure chests. Flowers. Okay. Money. And another bomb. Let's break these to get a little bit of uh, extra cash from those, too. Okay, so just another type of bomb. What is the difference, I wonder, between you and you? Maybe you just do a smaller explosion? Or maybe you're like specifically a firebomb, so you set things on fire, but the other one just causes an explosion and does damage? That could be the case. All right, so down this way. Yeah, we got some stuff going on here. Where am I at? Okay, we're at another door. There's a thingy in there, but I can't get it, I don't think. Not yet. Oh, I tried to get you before uh, you got your shield back up, but it's fine. It worked out in the end. Okay, you're very dead. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you came all the way up here to fight me. What a dork. Yeah, I don't like shield. I don't like sh big shieldmen down there. The shieldmen's scary. All right, is this? Yes. We have opened a shortcut. All right, now the way is open here. So I can get here from the old house now. Convenience. Run, 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 run. All right, I'll take you out, shieldman. Boom, boom, boom. As soon as I take out your buddies, of course. Oh boy. I'm supposed to have a, uh, a shield for you. We should run. Oh, oh I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, okay. I need a shield before I can go over there. Methinks. Hello. Can I have your shield? Can you just, like, drop that thing for me? That would be awesome. And whatever that is. Hello? What was the point of this? Also, there's a treasure chest down there. Hmm. Okay, so much of this game is just gonna be me going back to... Oh, well, of course you have the... Eh! Now that I know I can just burn you alive that way. Yeah, eat it, dork. I'm a coward, I know it. I have no HP. <laughs> I'll be a coward if it means I can win, damn you. You should probably come and attack me. No? Okay. You did realize you were burning to death, right? 
cool. Now I have a key to the old house. So I can go down to the beach now, but I don't think we're going to do that. Let's go to the old house and see if um, now that I can get in there, I can maybe have a checkpoint in this area. That would be dandy. Yes, hello. Let me in. Don't here. That sound effect specifically sounds very fez. Uh, doesn't look like there's a safe one in here. Wow, one? Wow, who lives here? They're poor. Oh. But this is why we wanted it, right? Because we have this now. <gasps> yes. I would like a shield. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. Look at us. Boom. You'll love to see it. Alrighty. Hmm. I do need another checkpoint. But I guess we gotta keep going for now. Um, so does it show me... Yeah, that's just under the well. Okay, so I'm in the... house right now. The old house pathway. Excuse me. There we go. <coughs> that's what I was trying to do. Excuse me. With the, uh, cough there. Um, where? Oh! Okay, I'm over here by the sealed temple. Also, this is a secret path of sorts. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that certainly is a secret path. Holy shit. I will definitely forget that that one exists. Okay, what's down here? Treasure. Sorry, I said I know I was gonna end. Uh, tooth. We got a tooth. Now we just gotta call the tooth fairy. Oh, that's Keese. Die, Keese. I hate you. In every single game you're in. Okay, okay, there's a there's a lot going on here. I need to go over there and save. Before this idiot before this video turns into an hour-long one because that looks like a cracked wall kinda. Uh before this video turns into an hour-long one because I'm constantly distracted by things and want to play this. So let's just uh that was the wrong way. Let's just go over here. And hit up this checkpoint. They do it they do a really, really good job of hiding things with the perspective like that. Whew. Alright. Well, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Tunikov here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.